What's up guys, Captain Wheelman here, back with some more iRacing B-Class here at Phoenix Underneath the Lights, Repaved. This is a track I've normally been pretty good at. Had my first ever pull here in the trucks, entering the chase here in 17th position. Not too bad, so hopefully we can make up some positions. But I was extremely slow here this week for whatever reason. 44th best qualifying time of 27.822 uh, that was that was terrible that was really slow uh, strength of field not too shabby 1954 second of three splits so first time running the B car here at Phoenix first time running underneath the repaved conditions so we're about to go green guys let's see how slow I can be <laughs> all right let's go And what do you know, you can't even complete a lap here at Phoenix, and the caution comes out. I'm going to skip right through this stuff. See you on the other side. All right, about to go back green. Not doing too bad. Well, we're about to go green. Let's move. <laughs> this guy in my way, he didn't even get on the gas. That's going to cause a little bit of a traffic jam on the outside. Cars going on the inside, losing positions. Yeah, and another caution. Man, what do you know? That's what happens when the car does not get going. All right. And we're stuck in the inside this time. Still stuck behind the thrust master who apparently cannot find his thrust control because he's not going very fast on the restarts. Let's hope for a better start this time. Yep. <laughs> Try to jump it there. Yeah. Another bad restart. Hopefully there's no caution this time. Probably a little conservative there getting off the gas. And I uh, lost another position. Now I have been downshifting here in this uh, corner three and four. I was able to watch a race. Oh, oh, we got a slow one. What? Oh, <laughs> that's going to slow us down. Uh, let's squeeze it. Three wide. Let's do it. Uh, uh. And uh, yeah, because we have the dog leg. Uh, why not? Let's go four wide. Yeah, let's go three wide here. Let's. <laughs> yeah, so I'm downshifting. I watched a race with Monte Conti. The iRacing NASCAR champion, and he was downshifting. Ah! ah, ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Watch out. <laughs> we avoided that one, though, and uh, doesn't look like we have any damage. So let's skip right through this caution. All right, about to go back green. We've given up a few positions. The guy in the Thrustmaster is now in the inside lane. We're on the outside lane. Let's hope for a better restart. And, uh, yeah, let's avoid these wrecks. A lot of cautions thus far. That is a good restart. That guy in the Thrustmaster, he, well, he cannot start. I could just not find any traction on this repaved Phoenix course. Three wide. Let's let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I cannot just I cannot get off corner four. I cannot do it. I guess you could call it corner three though, because this is corner one and the dog leg is I guess technically a corner. It's not so much a corner anymore because people just go on and go straight. But before it was repaved, I've considered it to be a corner because you actually had, like, rumble strips and everything. And before it was repaved, I was fast here. I was racing trucks, and I had, like, eight consecutive pulls. Oh, watch out. But like I said, this is my worst 
speed thus far through six weeks of the class action. Yeah, that 44th fastest qualifying time. Yeah, not very impressive at all. I think I was faster in the trucks before it was repaved without the dog leg. I cannot get off the corner. Just not getting the speeds off the corners. It's making me slow. And we're going to give it up another position. And I cannot <laughs> control it in the corner. to get the car in the corner a little bit more. I do have a brake pressure bias, or whatever you want to call it. Not the bias, but the brake pressure within the settings at like 1.17. And I am using the Fanatic Club Sport V2 wheel, uh, wheels and pedals. And uh, I should probably have that at uh, zero setting, so I might change this after the race because I don't think I'm getting enough brake pressure. I don't know why I didn't have it at zero all this time. Probably could have been a lot faster at some other tracks like Bristol. Yeah, I'm just not getting the corner. I'm just not getting the car settled in the corner. And then the car's not rolling out. Too much understeer. Yeah. See, that's my problem. Not enough brake. So I'm not slowing down fast enough, which makes me a lot slower getting out of the corner. So I have entry and exit problems. <laughs> That's not what we want here at Phoenix. I just don't do well at short tracks. This is a short track. I think it's uh, exactly a mile in length. So anything like, whew, slide in the corners. Although Iowa I did okay at I guess that's considered a short track as well. Bristol, terrible. Like I said, my cup of tea, I guess if you want to call it that, is the mile and a half tracks. Like Atlanta. Next week we go to Chicagoland. I love Chicagoland. Just not racing well. Another guy on my inside. Can't get off the corner. And racing side by side is making us even slower. I feel like if I can downshift into third, it would help my torque getting out of the corner. Then you have to worry about spinning it. It's probably not good for the tires. What can you say? Problems all around. <laughs> you know, it's not like we're trying to race for a championship, you know, 17th position. Ah. Car is getting a little loose. Pretty impressive green run that we've had thus far. Ah! Yeah, car wants to slide around on me.
Yeah, we're just gonna have to... I'd rather play it safe racing, you know, to finish a race than doing something crazy and wrecking out. I just didn't have good practice at this track. I, just not a good week at all. Sometimes you don't, you can't win them all, that's for sure. Looks like there's a car leaving the pits. It's gonna get back on the track safely. See, when I downshift, I feel like I'm catching up. It's this corner coming up. I just, I'm not entering the corner. See, too wide. Downshifted there, hoping that would help. <laughs> it just feels like the ratios aren't set up correctly here at Phoenix. I mean, it is a fixed setup, so everyone's dealing with the same setup, so there should be no excuses, but it just doesn't feel like I have the grip that I want. Maybe it's just the downforce. I don't know what it is. I mean, we're getting up to eight and a half thousand RPM, so it's probably not the ratios. I don't know what it is. I'm just looking for something to complain about because I'm slow. <laughs> Downshift again. Why not? Gotta get off these corners fast. Just feel like I'm so slow and sluggish. And then the other unfortunate part, too, is my I rating, which is gonna be on the table I was car number four so they expect me to be top five car and uh, yeah that's that's not happening <laughs> yep pretty slow No caution, saved it, uh, but now I have some some damage issues. <laughs> and two more positions. And now I have a wrecked race car, kind of. No meatball, though. Which is good. Continue on with the embarrassing look of a dented race car. <laughs> yeah. Downshifting to third, probably, uh, yeah, that, that was the downfall there. Was racing top 10. Could have had positive eye rating. Yeah. My eye rating was at, like, 21.19 coming in. And uh, it's probably going to take a hit if I don't get a top 10 here. Championship points, too. Yep. Yeah. Those championship points. I like to get 100 championship points every week if I can. So I feel like that would put me in contention for the championship, which is what the series is all about. Yeah, that concludes in Las Vegas in just a few weeks. Next so we go to Chicagoland, and then we go to Kentucky. Kentucky is an interesting track because it is it's kind of short trackish, but not really. And then we go to Dover, which is a nightmare. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, there's like no grip at Dover, and it's high bank drama, short track. It should be a fun race, though. Entertaining, at least. Hopefully we don't wreck out of that one. And then we go to Daytona. And that's going to be a crap shoot. Ah! Yeah. Uh, about that grip. Just all sorts of issues right now. And then from Daytona, we go to 
Atlanta. Whoa. A little bit of wheel wiggle. Saved it. Having all sorts of issues out here, guys. And from... And from Atlanta, we go to Viva Las Vegas. And hopefully we can get a championship. So those three last weeks, I'm really circling those last three weeks. Hopefully Daytona goes well. Again, going to have to avoid the wrecking. And I'm also going to try to do the A class or the official iRacing series at Daytona. I always have to do those big restrictor plate events. So we're going to do 200 laps. We're going to see what that's all about. bit of stuttering going on with the frame rates. Whoa! Yeah, those low RPMs. Or should I say high RPMs downshifting into the corner. <laughs> That's the trick. If you downshift too early, too many RPMs, tires spin, and then you're going sideways mid-corner. Ah. Just a frustrating week overall. Just kind of, yeah, this, this week is just not a good week. Could really use a caution right now, just because I am slow and I would like to catch up to the rest of the field to see if I can make some spots. Now the thing about next week at Chicagoland, it's not a night race, and I'm trying to remember, Iowa was a night race, right? When then the week before that was Bristol, that was a night race. Where were we before Bristol? I can't remember. Ah, shoot. I think we've had a couple day races, haven't we, so far on the chase? But next week is a day race, I'm excited about that. I don't know what it is about day racing, I just kind of like it more than night racing sometimes. And what do you know? Another caution, guys. And I'm going to skip right through this one. Uh, all right. All right. So we're not going to go back green. And I didn't pit. Still got the damage. And, yeah, I'm in the 11th spot. And we are not going back green. So this is the white flag, guys. There's some damaged cars on the racetrack. Four cautions, 14 caution laps. There's only one lead change here in this race. Stefan Weber is the winner. I'm going to lose my I rating. It's going to go down six points. So my I rating after this is going to be 21, 21.13, which I guess is okay. But we only gained 61 championship points which is not good. So entering 17th into this race for the championship run. Be interesting to see after this race. So I'm going to try to do that from now on week to week is show you guys at the beginning of the race what my championship standing is and then post-race where I'm at after the week. So that'll be coming up shortly. Also, if you guys want to see some of the wrecks and what's happening after the race, like a post-race report, let me know what you guys think, but we're about to 
Cross the start finish line underneath caution. It seems like that's a normal thing now these days is to finish underneath the caution. Love to see a green white checkered implemented into iRacing as well as the new qualifying standards. But hey, they're working on some scan stuff, new stuff, new trucks. iRacing's a lot of fun, guys. Appreciate the likes, the comments. And we're going to end this race. All right, it's time to take a look at the championship. And we're at 11th spot, guys. I will see you guys next week at Chicagoland.